The next tab we're going to look at is the work orders tab. And so with the work orders, work orders can be submitted by yourself by clicking add work order uh, or tenants. So tenants are, are able to submit a work order directly from their account. On the right hand side you'll have a list of statuses. These are all customizable statuses. So if, if we go uh, to our settings quickly and then to work orders, you can see some of the settings that can be uh, set here for work orders and customized. So here's all of the customizable statuses that we have set up. You can add your own status. Uh, and some particular details about this, you can set whether or not vendors are allowed to update um, this to the status or whether or not this uh, particular status is considered closed. And I'll talk a little bit more about the vendor um, vendors allowed. Uh, the considered closed uh, simply will mean that if a work order is assigned to this particular status, that work order is considered to be closed. And that is to be represented from both the tenant portal and the owner's portal uh, as they see work orders in their status. Uh, additionally, you can add custom form questions. So here's a couple examples of forms questions that have been added here. You can of course add a new one by clicking add new. Uh, you can type in the question and then you can select the input type. Uh, there's These input types will be the type that a tenant or yourself will be required to answer. Uh, if you choose required, that's an option. Um, so maybe we want to set up, say, a checkbox. Uh, we want to say whether or not, you know, um, uh, you know will, will you be at home, for instance. Uh, and then, you know, a tenant would have to check whether or not they're at home. Uh, probably not the best example, but, but you get the idea. Uh, you can choose to show this particular question just to tenants or to yourself as well. Um, so if this is only shown to tenants, then uh, this question will not be shown. It won't be something that has to be filled out by yourself. So if we go back to work orders. So to dive into a work order, uh, similarly to units and tenants, you'll just select that work order by clicking on it. Uh, this will bring up all the details of the work order. You can see any custom questions that have been answered uh, at the top. Uh, you, at the top right here, you can see the amount of time since this work order has been submitted and the urgency of that particular work order, the unit address on the left, uh, the details of this, this respective work order, and any photos that have been attached for that specific work order. Uh, comments down here uh, below. You can see the reply that we added earlier in the news feed on the home tab. Uh, and if you need to add an additional reply yourself, you can add one here. You can of course attach a photo. Uh, this particular work order has been assigned to Bob's Builders. Uh, you can change the assignee on a particular work order uh, if you need to. Uh, you can send an invite to a uh, respective uh, vendor to let them know that they've been assigned this work order. They can then follow up on that work order. They will receive a unique link in their email uh, saying that they've been assigned this particular work order. They can then click that link. They can uh, add comments. They can update the status of it. And so that's where that particular status uh, thing that I mentioned earlier in settings uh, comes into play. If uh, you can choose which status is this particular a vendor is able to update that work order too. So if you only want a um, vendor to be able to update a particular work order to, let's say, uh, a work completed but unpaid status, and maybe let's say nothing after that you want them to be able to update a work order too, this is the furthest that they could actually progress this particular work order too, is this status. Then from there, you know that any further progressions are progressions that have been made by yourself or any other colleagues within your company. Some information on the right here about the particular actions available to you. You can edit this work order at any time. You can assign this work order to uh, any vendor or colleague within your company. Uh, document storage. So maybe you want to uh, attach any uh, bills or invoices that you've received from a particular vendor or any other important items. Uh, 
Uh, you can print this work order out if you need to hand that off to a vendor in-house. Uh, or you can change the status of it uh, to one of these customizable statuses that we looked at. Uh, the priority of it, or you can even delete the work order if you just don't want it uh, in your list. On the right, you'll also see the assignees. You can filter uh, this list based on the assignees, uh, and it'll automatically filter down based on, uh, on that particular assignee. Um, work order stats, and you can also see some details about units that have submitted the most work orders uh, over the past year. And of course, you have the filter bar, uh, like many of our pages, so that you can directly start filtering your work orders uh, very quickly. So, you know, for instance, we can just start typing in the address of this unit, and it automatically filters it down to this uh, specific work order and also selected it since there aren't any other uh, results in this list.